Hi, welcome back to the next part of our tutorial to build a train. Today we are unwrapping and texturing uh, more. Uh, last time we did that here, we go on second layer, mark all with A, and hit Alt G to bring all in the middle. Then the first layer is all on the right place. Good, we done that. Then we go on here, the same like yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, mark all, you unwrap. Smart UV project. And black lock is the material. Uh, different makes later uh, the, the coal here. There comes another texture on it, but we make it all in a moment the same. So you, you we unwrap black. Okay, that one it is two, and the rest two. So we have to do that one here, black, and this one black and rest so not UV project you smart UV project So we have that here at the back is some uh, here you see that is stretched and that is because we not applied the rotation scale. So when we hit here object apply rotation scale and then we do it again, then we have a good texture. So you have to do that with all parts that are not uh, as sharp or as good textured. There you have to apply the rotation scale. You can do it with all if you like. That is the right way to make it with all. But we want to get finished uh, one time so this is a uh, uh, ask about time. Yeah. And I don't want to spend too much time with that. That is normal way. You know how to do that, so if you want apply each model that will, will be the best uh, what you can do it takes much time but that is the official way to do that good so we got that here and on wraps not your project and here too Okay, uh, here we have a good um, reason we can normally make that all uh, with one um, instance that will uh, bring less words there for such things. 
uh, but in this case we don't uh, worry about that because that is with a modifier that is with a array modifier so that isn't that uh, problem on my computer when you have a, a small computer uh, then you can become problems with this word count uh, that are 130,000 that is uh, it is not less so if you have a strong computer it's no problem but with others you can get problems so you can make instances of all that you have you make all objects here on second layer and then uh, you can make instances and put them here then you haven't the problem there good so think we are nearly done with that okay this fourth four point thing we must find and give them color to so this four point thing yeah that we need and this here we should make and this color to Good, so we go to the second layer and search for this um, four counted points. Not too many, too many, and too many. Don't know where we have them. There are many, 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 many. Here are five, I think, that are they. But it has this material, so it can't be them. Okay, so we go here. First layer. And look what this is ah that is a ray okay so we go there normally like we did it before with the other things good that is easy good here same give them the material then edit mode mark all with a and unwrap from project view But that are instances. But where's the original? That is the question. And the original must be on the second layer, I think. But we will see that when we look for that thing later. Good. We done it half to half. Um, we see here the unwrap is completely wrong. Uh, so we have to change that in the second layer. There's the original. Jump to the object. And then edit mode. We mark this ring that isn't correct. And unwrap them manual and the same you can do here um, also you can apply a rotation scale that is uh, correct and then hit that here you smart uv project that is good and same we do here Good, we done that. That was one of the failures I've seen there. Uh, this here is a failure too. They must be on the train. Must look 
which one that is that is for this train here okay so we bring them in and them into good then here at the front is the same we need that here on this wagon and here the same on the wagon and this one moment that one here must be on the train surely so we bring it in there The other side too. Good. Um, here we have some to do. We bring them over to this point. You know that. Good. Can go a little bit deeper here. Good. Um, then we need to go here a little bit down that it is into the other materials that looks better good file save first we want to do is to make a black we want the black um train so we go here to note editor the note editor is for changing our material that is our material and we want to change that material to another so that means we have unwrapped at all so when we want to change this texture we must take the coordinates of the UV so we take here input texture coordinates so the computer knows where this graphic is on the string so the next one we need is um, vector the vector is mapping that we need the mapping is for the position of the texture on this object you can rotate this texture you can scale them make them greater or smaller with that uh, and now we connect here uv with the vector from the mapping and then the vector with the vector of our image this steel image i told you is from cgtextures.com or textures.com is the same so we want to make a plaque how we do that we take here a shader a uh, mix shader so we mix that um, texture with what another thing so we can shift d duplicate this diffuse here and give them in here so we mix them 50 50 with white we don't want white we want black so we go here and make a black uh, and then we go here a little bit more to the right side and you see then you can darken that we darken that so that we have a good result i think that can be good um, then there is no glossy on that because of that that doesn't look real so we take another mixer so we can click on that that the yellow line is there then shift d and we have duplicate them and can then bring here into now it's completely black that is wrong so we need a glossy shader so add shader glossy shader we bring them here and connect them with the mixer so all is now mixed but to um, the factor is to this glossy and that is wrong when we go to the other side is only that but without glossy or less glossy so we must uh, control that by a texture so we have here the texture that is the png and that we take as a factor of this mixer and then only uh, separate uh, parts of the train will 
um, light of a glossy shape. When we render that, you see that where it have the reflections there. To get them more darker, we need to have here not a an, an white um, glossy, we need a darker glossy, such like that maybe. Uh, can be a little bit lighter. So that you see this uh, other stuff, but not too much. That is a good one. So we go back to material mode. Then this um, this um, light point on um, this material isn't that fine because there is no real deep on them. When you have real deep on them, then the reflections are other. So what we do is we have here a displacement at the material output. This is for uh, for smaller cuts and scratches and something else and brings more 3D look there. So when we get here our texture into the displacement, you see that looks more 3D now. And you see it here in the preview and you see it here. Without them, it's flat. With them, it's 3D look. But it's too much. That is overdone. So we must um, control that by a converter and a math converter we need. And then we put between the texture and the displacement. So here is an add that we don't like. Here are methods, logarithm, modulo, absolute, that are operations for the math notifier. And we take here multiply, and then you see it's not that uh, hard as before, but it is too hard. So we take here a 0 0.03, and you see it isn't now that hard as before. So when we render, you will see, I must find the right place where I can show you that. Uh, you can see it here. There are these um, 3D effects that, that, come, that comes out here. You can handle that less or more like you would, um, but believe, um, only what you you must see it yeah what is the effect that you don't see yet then you don't need this effect for that that is uh, like we did that in the moment um that it is so dark and, and all that is because the lighting isn't uh, correct in the moment so that we have to do also uh, here we have to go to the black one and smart uv project here the same okay here are the axis we can take down at the second layer we'll try to give them here a new unwrap you unwrap Oh, that wasn't good. So we go back. We let it like it is. Good. Um, so we have that here, two white things. So we have to give them the material too. That is here. So I spoke about the German trains last time. And here is a German train. And you see some parts are red. And that we want to make with our train too. So that means we need a material that is red and but with the same um, um, yeah with the same values like here. So we can make here crater. 
then you can press here on black on this number then you got another one oh that wasn't good i think but okay don't worry be happy um we go back control set then we give you a plus and then take here the zero zero one and give them another color we give them here by mixing not a black we give them a red so you see it here that we can delete uh, we call it correctly that is um, red iron So red iron comes on the wheels. So we have to go to second layer, set to get wireframe, get our wheel and give them not this black, we give them the red iron. So we have that. Okay. Uh, we have to give them here apply the rotation scale and then unwrap that again so we got that and you see the textures on that and for this one this is uh, too hard so we give them here uh, point 0.1 that we only get, get a little of that and we see there is less texture on that that is because of the size of this um, of this image there so we can handle the size here we try a point one and here a point one and the x and then the y and we see that isn't the right direction so we type in here two and here two and then we get the crater one yeah that is better now you see it sharper and it's more that it looks when you paint on there so rg bring it in the middle we go back to the first layer and we see he done that there and when we look here in the preview render then you will see when we go near when we have the, the right light later you will see that looks real like uh, it's painted one good um then we have to do the same with these things here so we give them red iron two that one two this one good then here is a special um there only the inner part is reddish and the rest is a uh, metal poor so we go here and give them another click there so we have the the another one and we call it iron uh poor poor eye okay here we don't need any color that comes to it so we delete here the diffuse color and the mix shader and bring it directly to the mixer with the glossy so we got this um, gray thing there, yeah, and that is more a steel, so that can be have more glossy there. So we go here less with the roughness, so we have more glossy like steel have that. So um, that is good, and we need here a second material on them. So we give you plus and give them here the red iron. Then we go in edit mode, mark this plane here, and give them with a sign a red iron. And that is how we have to do that with all these things there. Um, this one here, we must make later, that is the same. Here's the same, so we make here the iron pure, iron pure plus and give them the red iron too mark the middle face there 
and assign that. So we have that. And then here, the same iron pure plus red iron. Select the middle one, assign, done. Good. Um, I must look often where they did that, how they did that, because I not make it so often. Um, that one, that here is the normal iron, and that believes black. Okay. This tank can be red, and this one and the other wheels. Okay. Tank and the other wheels. Okay. So. We have the tank here, so we give them a red iron, that is good. Uh, for the security we make their an object apply rotation scale and give them a new unwrap, but it's good. Yeah, uh, good. The wheels should be red but not in each direction but we make it at first at all this wheel so that one and here's the same we have to apply rotation scale and then unwrap again so here's same give them the red then apply rotation scale then edit mode you unwrap project good uh, the same we can do here with all the wheels okay So, apply rotation scale, you are a project, good, then this wheels too, oh, that are instances, okay, so we must get them from the other uh, layer there, but before we can make it on the other side here, that is better, the iron then apply and unwrap new okay red iron apply rotate scale and new unwrap good one uh, here we have to do you know Take the pure iron, give a plus, and the red one. Then go into and give the middle part red. Here the same. Plus red. Click in the middle, red iron. And here the last one, I think for this time plus red iron and assign good this in here should be red too i seen so make that red and make the same here apply rotate scale edit mode and unwrap good same as here on the side we have it here Oh, that is red. Apply. You unwrap from you. Good. The tank we have to do here. Oh, that is object apply. So that. Okay. Then the wheels here behind okay the 
good one is when you done it one time with all um, then you can only change the color the material and all will change then to that color or this material that is the good one the good news <laughs> about that uh, good then I seen on them that this guys will be reddish too and here we have to do the same we should give here a uh, apply and then a new unwrap good go to the other side make it here the same Good. That is that. Um, then we have to do another one. Is um, that uh, wheel isn't uh, reddish at all? There is some silver steel there. That is uh, logic because that is a uh, classy steel there like this steel here is that is on the wheels there so we must make this material too so we go in here and give them a plus oh we go to the wheels i mean wheels we give a plus on the wheel and then we make a new material we call it silver that is um, um we go here to node system and we can make here a glossy then you see that is the silver silver one and that we bring onto the wheel but not overall only here here and here that should be completely in the silver so we assign that that don't look here in the in the real colors because that isn't the shading uh, when we render that later that will be another so here we mark that 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 and give them the plus here silver you can type in here se silver then you there and then apply that so we make that with all this uh, with the create one too and the little one that's all the same so we get plus so uh, this one and accept that here the same plus silver and apply good on the other side too Okay, the great ones we can get on the second layer only, so we take before that one here. That one correct. The best uh, to mark that correctly is when you click with hold it um, alt key on this uh, edge here. That with hold it alt key here yeah. then you have directly the correct loop when you make it on the face then it can be don't work so we got that so sign good uh now we go to the file save first then we go to second layer and search for this wheel we done it here and there we make the same we give them here 
this silver. Good. Uh, yes. But I see here some error. Here must be a um, loop. Good. We've done that. Uh, we look good set. What we have there too. Here are the other wheel. Here. That one we get out. Give them here the material mode. And there we have to give the red and the silver. So we go here red iron plus and give the silver one. Then we mark only this face, this, this, and give them the silver. Good. All G to print back in the middle. Then set, we see here our wheel holder. There is the same that should be red one. So go on material mode and give them here this red iron. Then we apply rotation scale and give them a new arm wrap. And all G to print back. So we have that. That is good for now. Um, um, this whole um, object here, we give them that real steel, not this painted one. So we go here, iron pour. And that's for all the rest of that here. I'm poor here. And surely for that. Uh, that are all instances, so we must search there later the real ones and change their the color for that the little ones too so we got that here is one that should be iron that too Good. Was that all? I think for now, yes, but here we need that. Good. And this one here too. Good. The rest is, um, you know, the rest is instances. So, we have to do it on the other side too. And we are, have uh, copied with Alt D. Then we had not this problem that we make it two times, but we forgotten it last time. So we have to do it manually. That is the one when you have a good plan, you have less work. But my plane, I have no plan. <laughs> so I do it like it comes. So here I'm pure. Here. Good.
So he have forgotten to make that red. So we make that here red. So that is okay. We now look what else must be in colors. So I look to the train. Mm -hmm. The round things there should be red too. And the down part of this side panel there and at the front some. Okay. Then we try that. So we go to there. And that is this thing should be red. So that is all from the instance. So we go to the second layer and search for that. Set to look to red. And now we have to find that one, isn't it? Oh, let's look where we have it. Can be that one. No, no. Yeah, that is um, the failure we made too, is we don't give them the correct, ah, here is it, the correct names. That is uh, why we don't can find that directly, because here isn't a name for that. It's called cylinder, cube, and so on. Normally, you must give each of them a name. So that here is the create wheel. So normally, you go in here, rename, and create wheel. So when you search them, you can find them easily. Not like I do that. But it is work. If you do want to do that, do that. No problem. So we have here the reddish one now. Well, that is good. Here that thing we make red too. But only this tank there. Red. Oh, we make it with this. Okay, no problem. Good. So that rings here must be reddish too. So we go back to the second layer set for wireframe and we must find this oval thing there. The oval thing there. Let's look. There it is that we make red too. Good. Then go back to first and look what we got. We got that. And we want to have the down part of this plane here should be reddish. So we take here this line and the down part and give a plus here and red and a sign. So from the top it looks black, from down it looks red. That looks good. Um, then make it on the other side too. So that's here. Give them the down part to plus red sign. Good. Here we can make this two things reddish and maybe this one if you like to so that we have a symmetry of, of, of dark and uh, light and, and colors and so on. Good. That was a good one. Here we forgotten this one. I'm pure. There. I'm pure. And here. 
Good. Uh, file save. Good. Then we have another material that we use is class in our window. So we have to make a class, so plus, and give them a new. And then we call it class and give them here a transparent. Now we can give them a class material at first. And then you can get their um, mix shader and a glossy shader. So you get more highlighting there. Glossy. And mix that. And then you see there comes such. But you must go back that you more have class than the glossy effect there. So we got that. Uh, we need it on this window. So when we go there, important is uh, a class must be 3D. So we must mark the whole uh, object that is class. Not only the front, not only the back. We need this whole thing to get a real class material. And we see that isn't really connected there. It is here. That can be the class. So I make that class. And we'll look. No, there is some in front of that. So we go back. We go here and here and give them class. Then I try a render that I can look through it or not. Surely it is stuck in there, but you see we can look through it, okay. So that is good for now, but not really. I don't like that here, because that isn't like it should. We have no walls in there, or what? I must look. Ah, here it is. No, that isn't it. No, they are not closed, I think. That one here is the front and not the back, yeah. When we go here, you see that here isn't closed. Good. But we try it at first with the normal one. If we want to change it, we make it later. So we hit here all these faces on the back side too and give them the class material. Okay, then bring it into the rest of that. The same we make with this round thing here. There we have that one and the back one. And here we can make that. Here now we have the whole uh, class thing and can that will have a better effect than by the other one maybe we change that later that all use this technique so we go here and bring that out and get the faces here and faces there and plus class assign go back Good, and here, bring it out, mark that, mark the line, mark the back, plus, class, assign. Good. So, we done that, funny things here, then we have this uh, little bell or the clock, the bell, and that is a golden one, so we give their plus. You and call it gold and give them here a glossy and a orange, yellow, something in that direction see what happens there and 
now we mark that and give that a sign there and then that is a little bit dark i think so we go in here lighter that can be gold good that we have done then here we need class 2 that is uh, the light light source there and i hope there is this um, correct thing i must get that out i must see that correctly without that we have no chance to get a good result there good i will delete this front face and the next phase two so we have only that and why i do that because we need a thickness of this material because in the inside it is a mirror and at the outside it has a plaque so we go here and give them a modifier a solidify that's here and then I'll make it here to solid so we see how thick that will be and give them here an edge split on it to make it sharpen and then you see here the thickness of that and I think that should be okay so I apply that and now we have this opinion to make that both so here we have the plaque then we take here this silver that is the mirror itself that we only make here in the inner part so we give them here silver and then we have to close that here and give them this class material so we mark that F to close, mark that F to close, set wireframe mode, we mark that both, and the inner faces, and that should be have class, so class, and give them class material. So we got that. Then we take this whole thing and bring it back onto the cube there and there we must put in later light source uh, that uh, the light comes out from this uh, lamp there good uh, this one should be black surely black so and when we look at the original then these shields are black inside and gray outside so we need a real black and gray so go in here and give them the plus new material real black without this place so um, that is only black not more not less good uh, that we give on the face there the inner face apply that so we see that um, then here this um, part should be gray so we give them new material gray light mm, give them your gray and with control plus we can get that marked and assign so we have that that we make with the other ones too so here we need a plus to the real, real black and we need the gray 
this middle one should be real black that one here should be gray good same with this little thing here plus real black and plus gray so mark the middle real plus and here mark that control plus to get that correctly and give them the gray so we done that we have made our text last time that is here the text that we made that have the same gray color than uh, the rest of that so when we click there we give them now the gray too so gray and the text here too and this one then we have one text here over that to get there and there there we make that same gray and gray now we position them we get this new york central here grabbing positioning get in front that we see them jump to a little bit more grab y okay good it should be great but not too great so we scale like there such like that i think it isn't that important but that is good so we make shift d duplicate them bring them here and we take an interactive mirror so we can change that and bring that in front and position it in the middle so we got that that is good and we have that number here it comes down to the window so grabbing positioning bring it out scale up grabbing positioning good bring it on to then shift d to duplicate bring it on the other side mirror interactive mirror that is it and bring it in the middle of this window down there good then we have this numbers here this one comes here in the middle so we get that grabbing positioning jump to rotate set minus 90 rotate set minus 90 and then bring it here on this panel so make it here in the middle and here onto good then we need the other text there so we can get this two grabbing positioning here the same rotate set minus 90 bring them one two okay see it's a little bit to create so we scale that a little smaller and bring it in front good that is done too here is the last number we need so we take the number and grabbing 
positioning, jump to can make it with the snapping tool that can be fine there I think but I never use them so I'm not good in that I make it on my way good we done that too that is fine uh, file save that is the coloring in the moment uh, and the texturing in the moment uh, we will see that when we render that really uh, how that looks and what we must change in this um, node systems there. So file save at the moment. Uh, file give them another save number because when we lost something we have to save on that. Good, that was it for today. See us next time then we will decide uh, make this um, this here and this and the beton there and the stones there and this all and then we change which motif we make which scene we make in a hall or out in the nature we will see that then okay so thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye